Hello Super Traders and welcome to Super Trader TV's weekly wrap up for trading week of November 2nd to November 6th in US market. US stock indexes finished last week's trading mostly flat while the US dollar gained over 2%. These movements came during a week of upbeat US economic data and Federal Reserve statement that put a possible December interest rate hike in focus. The Canadian dollar declined last week, this was while crude oil took a large hit and despite optimistic Canadian trade and employment data. In European markets, European stock indexes finished a volatile week with mixed results. Impressive US jobs data and stock performance helped with gains while underperforming European economic data dragged some equities lower. The Euro and British pound both declined almost 2.5% last week. These losses came as European Central Bank President Mario Draghi opened the door to possible monetary easing increases in the future. In Asian markets, major Asian stock indexes appreciated last week after improved Chinese economic data calmed fears of a slowdown in the Chinese economy. The Japanese yen moved lower last week after Bank of Japan Governor Kuroda stated that a slowdown in China is Japan's largest economic threat. The Australian dollar shed over 1% last week after the Reserve Bank of Australia held interest rate at current levels but continued with a dovish economic tone. The New Zealand dollar dropped last week as underperforming dairy and employment data put a damper on the economic outlook. And here last week's commodities highlights. Crude oil dropped about 4% last week after US data showed a larger increase in crude inventories than economists expected. Gold declined last week as investors anticipate a possible US interest rate hike by the end of 2015. This was Supercharger TV's weekly wrap-up. Have a happy and profitable trading week.